We're doing high end versus dupes, but I'm not telling you which side is which until the very end. So you have to guess. I don't want to be a hater. Heck, you don't think you guys are going to get it right. Comment right now which side you think is which, and then comment again at the very end and let me know if you got it right. No cheating. This is very serious. Let's do it. My editing game is going to be on fire to have to blur everything out. But we're starting with brows because my high end and my dupe, well, I you can't really say either of these are a high end product. I actually don't know how much this costs. I bought this like two years ago on Beauty Bay, but this is a literal bar of soap that cost me $2. So... In comparison, high end. Oh my god, I have to decide which side's gonna be which. Okay, I've decided. I haven't actually lived out my soap brows fantasy in so long, so I'm not even sure if I like either of these products anymore. Some people looked really, really nice with a soap brow. I was not one of them. <laughs> people on TikTok were asking me for a brow tutorial when I used to do my brows like this. Ugh, brother, ugh. They looked awful, like so fucking bad. You can't trust the internet for anything. And the other side. I feel like neither side is sticking down very well. This is why we left soap brows in 2020. I feel like it doesn't work. And to fill in the brows, it's better with the brow pen. We have the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen in the shade Taupe and the Maybelline Builder Brow in a mystery shade because every time I have looked at this, I swear to God, the shade is not on here. I promise you, it's just a shade up from blonde. I'm assuming it's Taupe, hopefully. Let's do the side first. The urge I have to just tell you which product I'm using. Okay, that will do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Now for the other side. Oh, I like this brow pen more. I'm not having a good brow day. I don't think either of them look good. I think I want to move on to the skin. I feel like the skin's more interesting. Primer. You see this? Dupes. I don't know how MCO Beauty gets away with this, but this is the MCO Beauty Grip Primer. And this is the original Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This was literally created to be a dupe for this product. Wait. It's serving that photo of the cat family where the dad looks like he takes care of the mom really well. I keep forgetting which side is which. I used to use this kind of primer religiously and then I started going for like just more hydrating moisturizer kind of primers and I've been really enjoying that lately but I do have to appreciate living in Queensland, the appeal of a grip primer. Like it's winter now so it's fine but in the summer your makeup just melts off your face. And then the other side, the way these look and feel the same. These primers are making my hands feel like I have hair gel on them. Blech. You know I hate to say it, but I told you so. Oh my god, YouTube, don't copyright me. How do people... People are lying when they do this dick test. I really fall off straight away. Okay, these fake bitches. And for foundation, which I guess is also technically a primer, I'm using the Emco Beauty again Flawless Glow and the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Again dupes you see, even the applicators are like exactly the same i'm gonna have to like fist them the whole time i do my makeup so you can't see which is which it's not a good enough reason to use the word fisting i'm using the shade three in both of these shades normally i would use this underneath makeup but sometimes i feel like you can get enough coverage out of this that it kind of can work as a foundation you can kiss a hundred boys and Bus. Oh my god, that's like my hyperfixation song at the moment. I'm not breaking out as badly as I normally am. My skin's actually looking pretty slay at the moment, so I feel like I can get away with using this as a foundation. Normally I go for something that's at least a medium coverage because this acne doesn't quit. Oh my god, applying it like this literally makes me feel unconfident. And blendy blendy blend. This is how we're looking. Do we have any guesses yet? Next is where I feel like the girls with the 2020 vision are gonna find the difference. These two colors are very similar. One is the Sephora Collection Care Bronzer in the shade 2, and the other is the Rare Beauty Happy Soul Bronzer. I love both. I think the formula is very similar. But let's start with this side. Oh, doesn't that just look so smooth? I'm gonna put down my nose because we wanna look skinny. My name is Bella Hadid. No, for the other side. Yes, no, snatch. Can we tell? If you could tell which side is which right now, like, Napa blush. This is another MCO. I swear the dupes are not all MCO beauty. It's just some of the base products just happen to be MCO because they make dupes for everything. And by everything, I mean they make dupes for everything, Charlotte Tilbury. The first product I've got is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Pinkgasm. And then we have the MCO Beauty Highlight and Glow Beauty Wand in the shade Pink Glow. The color of both of them is so similar. And taking this on my brush and blending it into my hairline so it's nice and seamless. Oh my god, have you guys seen that TikTok where she's like, guys, I finally learned how to blend my blush properly. You guys are doing too much. I need a new song to get stuck in my head. I love blush so much. Now onto concealer. 
I actually don't know if these are dupes, but I googled it and someone online somewhere said that these were dupes. So one of them is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and the other is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo concealer. I love both of these, but I've never really thought of them as dupes, so I am intrigued to see how this plays out. I'm going to apply with my finger a little bit under my eye on my chin. Okay, these colors are very different. I'm blending out with my Sigma Soft Coverage Concealer Brush. I have to be honest, I think this is one of the best concealer brushes I've ever owned. Like, it's never been so fast for me to blend out my concealer. I used to exclusively use a beauty sponge. And now that I've seen the light and gone to brushes, I will never turn back. Like, my makeup has never looked as smooth or as even thing as when I've started using brushes. It's crazy how your makeup preferences, like, change and grow with the times. But I, I can't see myself ever going back to just using a beauty blender. Like, even now, if I tried to apply my foundation with a beauty blender, it just would not look good. And I know for a fact that it wouldn't look good because I actually tried it recently and I was like... That was a really visceral sound that I just made. Now for powder blush, we've got the Dior Backstage Rosy Glow Blush. I know you've seen this one. When I worked at Sephora, you would not believe how many 12 year olds stole this. They're so bold. The other one is the Mecca Max Chic Cheek Blush. I'll be honest, I think I've only used this once. I bought it because I'm easily influenced. <laughs> Someone on TikTok said it was a dupe for the Rosy Glow and I just believed them and bought it. It was like $20 or something. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. But they do look pretty similar, actually. The Mecca looks a little bit darker. I'm gonna start with the right side. I don't wanna use too much, I just wanna really lightly set the blush. But that's cute. Now the other side. I keep going to say which side is which. I'm like, now for the dupe side. Now for the high end side. Can't help it, my brain is like, say it. Out loud. Which side are we liking more? Now for powder, on one side I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter powder. I think that's its name. I, it's so worn away. And the other is the Rimmel Transparent Powder. I have had both of these for years and years and years and years and years. Honestly, I use them basically as touch-up powders, but today we're going to use them to set our face because I don't have dupey loose powders. Applying these with a powder puff. I feel like this side looks a little bit darker. This looks a lot brighter. But I feel like both look equally smooth. One's just brighter than the other. Now for highlight, I swear this is my last Emco Beauty dupe. Like I'm pretty confident this is my last Emco Beauty dupe. But this is Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light wand in the shade Spotlight. And this is the Highlight and Glow Beauty wand in the shade Champagne Glow. And I'm just going to apply a bit of this on the back of my beauty blender. I actually don't know how these wands sit on top of powder. So I'm hoping these go okay. Oh, I feel like this side is actually almost brighter. Oh, I don't think I blended that very well. The side is drying really quickly and I've not blended it out fully. Okay, biggest difference. The one on this side dried really, really quickly. It looks a lot softer, the glow on this side. I think we're done with the base. This mirror makes me laugh. It makes me feel like I'm the evil queen. Like a mirror mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest side of them all? Now for eyeshadow, I can't stress enough. These are clearly not dupes. This is the ColourPop Going Coconut Palette. It's a mix of mattes and shimmers. And this is the Makeup by Mario Neutrals Palette, which is obviously just neutrals. In mattes. Eyeshadows are really hard to find dupes of. You don't really get a lot of dupes, like people just make their own eyeshadows and I find that a lot of the colours in these palettes are very similar. These are close enough that I think we can get something, you know, that people aren't really going to be able to tell the difference between. I'm actually going to clean up my brows really quickly. I'll be up. I'm going to do this side first. I'm thinking a soft smoky liner moment, so I'm going to take a nice neutral brown shade, run it all through the crease, and then the other side. The colour's a little bit different, but they're close. And then I'm smoking out a dark brown shade along my lash line. And the other side. Oh, it's so pigmented. I feel like I've really overdone it. Last shadow I'm going to use, I want to use a little bit of a cream shadow just on the inner part of my eye. Just to brighten. Give a Kim K vibe, you know? The creamy white shadow that I put on the side, it's looking really dull for some reason. Whereas the side, I feel like it's looking really bright. I don't know why it's pulling that colour on my eye. I've realized I've lied to you, I do have one more MK Beauty product because once again, they be duping. And this isn't necessarily like a high-end versus a dupe because I wouldn't say that the Quick Flick brand is like a super high-end brand, but it is the original as far as I'm concerned. This is the Quick Flick winged eyeliner stamp and this is the MK Beauty winged eyeliner. I don't know how I'm going to do this without spoiling it for you guys. I'm only going to use these liners for the actual eyeliner side because... I don't want to use the stamp because I've got such like round hooded eyes. Sometimes I find the stamps are too thick for me. I don't want like a super thick juicy wing because then it just looks bizarre in my eyes. I'm going to be honest, that was really difficult. For mascara, I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and the Sephora Size Up. 
This was designed as a dupe of this. I used to have this years ago. It wasn't my favorite. I feel like it was a really overhyped mascara. Anyway, I've got a little mini now I got from Mecca. So I'm going to give these both a try, but I'm going to do it off camera because the size difference is a dead giveaway. Like even I can't edit that out. I've done two coats of each mascara. Oh my God, staring at you guys like that's kind of scary. This one has given me more length. This one's given me more volume. My problem with both these mascaras is that they're neither of them are waterproof. So in the next 10 minutes, my lashes are going to be so straight. To finish off the eyes, I want to go for a little waterline moment. So I have the Mecca Max Eye Max Eyeliner in the shade Wake Up Cool. Or I have the Tarte Fake Away. That one looks really good. They look similar. This one's brighter and it was creamier, so it was easy to apply. Okay, now for lips. For lip liner. Where are you? For lip liner, on one side we have the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. On the other side I have a She Glam So Lippy Lip Liner in the shade. It's a mystery, I actually. I don't think it's got it on here. It's just got a code number. I'm gonna read out the code so that you guys all know what it is. 15CF1501. What a beautiful name. First of all, my lips are dry and crusty, so please don't say anything about it. Second of all, this is also an expose of how much I overlap my lips. The color on these ones, they're close, but they're not quite the same. This one's a little bit darker. This one's a little bit cooler. And then I'm gonna use a lip gloss because these lips are so dry. So to finish this off, I'm using the Lancome Juicy Tubes Original in the shade Tickled Pink. And I'm comparing it to the Maybelline Lift Gloss in the shade Petal. I actually think the lifter glosses are a really, really close dupe to the Fenty glosses, but I don't have a Fenty gloss that's similar to the shade. And I think these colors are very similar. Those lip glosses are really, really similar. Like once they're on the lips, I feel like both sides pretty much look the same. And it evens out the fact that the lip liners are a little bit different. And our makeup is done. What do we think? Oh my God, why am I like stressed? I'm like, ah! Do we know which side is which? Stop it. My cat has just brought his like fishing rod toy up into the room. Oh, that makes me feel like a bitch because I haven't played with him in forever. Wilbur, oh my God. Okay, everyone, the time is now. You now have five seconds to get your last guesses in. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> If you guess that this side was the high end and the side was the dupes, you were correct. I feel like there was a few products that were a bit of a giveaway. For me, it was the blush, the mix of the Charlotte Tilbury and the Dior. It just looks so much more vibrant on the cheek. Whereas this side with the MCO Beauty and the Mecca Max blush, it just wasn't quite serving as hard. I think that MCO was actually really close. I think it was the Mecca Max. I think it just wasn't pigmented enough. I don't know if it's because I bought it a while ago and I just haven't used it yet, but it just wasn't serving the color that the Dior was, which is so funny because I feel like everyone talks about how the Dior blush has no pigment, but it actually served a lot harder than this one did. So products that are literally identical, these flawless filter products, whatever they're called, I cannot tell personally. Like if someone was to put one on each side of my face, I couldn't tell you which one was which. I usually prefer the MCO Beauty one actually because I think it gives you a little bit more coverage, especially as someone with more like acne and like texture and stuff. I just feel like this one covers more. Ah, now that I'm looking, the only other thing is that this side on the dupe side, the eyeshadow and the eyeliner has transferred a little bit to the top of my lid, if you can see. I have used I use this MCO Beauty liner a lot though, so I'm wondering if it's the eyeshadow that's transferring because that liner is actually my go-to at the moment. Anyway, that is basically it. I'm so stressed this whole time. I've not filmed a YouTube video like properly in years, like literally years. I've been filming a lot of TikTok tutorials recently. I don't know why YouTube seems so scary and daunting compared to that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's anything you want to see from me next. I am open to suggestions. Let me know if you guessed correctly. I want to know if you guys got it right at the start to right at the end. Maybe I'll make up a graph or something based on your answers. Please have an amazing, beautiful, extra sleigh day. And if you're not, rot away in bed and then have an extra beautiful sleigh day tomorrow. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.